All right, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to another episode of Wicked Wednesday, where I drink alcohol in my kitchen. And today, I want to bring you one of the drinks that I discovered this year, and I really enjoy it for several different reasons, and it's the hard seltzer drinks. Now, this brand, and this is the only one that I'm going to talk about, this flavor is pineapple. There's about 15 different flavors of each brand and I personally cannot tell the difference between the quality of the alcohol in them but the flavors are the biggest difference this one is pineapple and it's it's gonna be a toss-up when it comes to my favorite flavor because I like anything tropical so pineapple is always my go-to and the one of the good things about it is five percent alcohol and uh, another good thing about it is it's not difficult to drink and eat because there's nothing saying that you have to drink or eat. So being able to drink these and still eat food and have a good time and converse with everybody and not get chitty drunk, these are pretty good at that. Both, getting you chitty drunk and eating, you know? So one, one thing is... It's clear, right? I'm pretty sure all the ones I've had have been clear. And it looks like Sprite. And it's super bubbly. But the surprising thing is, it's really good. It smells good. It smells like alcohol, obviously, with a, with a hint of artificial tropical pineapple. It's really, really smooth. And now this could be an acquired taste because of the fact that I did drink these throughout the summer, the different flavors. I tried the brands. There are some that I, I will not drink again. And the ones that I did not have a good reaction or response to were the uh, agave hard seltzers. They, they treated me wrong. It was not okay. I was not I was not okay with the relationship between me and the agave hard seltzers, but truly makes several different ones, including the tea, the tropical. I think I just seen one when I was picking this one up that was uh, fruit punch or punch or I think it was punch, truly punch, uh, and I could be wrong, but I really do enjoy drinking these and. I don't know. It doesn't set the same image. This is a large can, and I got it just for this specifically to show you one and not a six-pack. But this is a lot less offensive to a lot of people just carrying a, a designed can around like this in a, in a place that you're legally allowed to drink and walk around and socialize. Having something like this is uh, more lean towards having like an energy drink or something fruity rather than carrying around an alcoholic beverage. And uh, I learned that this year we went to the beach in Panama City, Florida, and you can drink on the beach, but it feels totally wrong. It did not feel okay while we was doing it. You know, so these, these cans right here help a little bit when it comes to being out in the public. And you don't want people to think you're just a raging alcoholic, you know. But they're good. I really enjoy them. I don't really know of a lot of bad things to say about it, though, because there's not a terrible hangover from these. I have drank too many before, and it was not a it was not an awful thing. Normal, normal thing that you would feel after drinking six or seven of them. The next day, you're gonna feel just like you would drinking six or seven beers, slightly dehydrated, a headache. You're gonna be groggy. But nothing outside the normal. And it's funny too, because this is the first time I've drank one from a glass, and it's almost easier. It's it's almost like telling yourself that it's a Sprite, because that's a that's probably one of the, the most similar descriptions that I could give is that it's it's really it's like an alcoholic Sprite. If you guys have not tried these, of course, being 21 years or older, make sure and give them a look. I never like sparkling water or anything seltzer in my life. 
but I enjoy the hard seltzer alcoholic beverages. If you guys have any comments about any alcoholic beverages you'd like to see on the channel or anything that you'd like me to bring to Wicked Wednesday, you guys just let me know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and check out all of our social sites as we tend to post on them. This is Sid Survival Guide.